Welcome back to the channel everybody. Hopefully the audio was good. Uh, so again, if you hear the uh, audio change a bit and back and forth, it's because I, uh, I'm i opening up my visor. I just gotta uh, pay attention here. I don't trust this guy in front of me. Mamma mia, that's an easy play to remember. Oh shit. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, a cab driver behind me. Yeah, no turn signal must be broken. Holy shit, man. If that's how you get rear-ended. Mamma mia. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I hope everybody's enjoying their weekend. I'm currently filming this video on a Sunday before heading off into work. Now, <clears throat> Friday I kind of got bored. I uh, got sick and tired of hearing that knock on the front fender, so I completely removed it, threw it in the recycling bin, and put my dirt bike fender back on. The type of fender I use in the front is from a little, is from a, a little uh, 50cc or a little or a 125. I'm not quite sure. The plastic kit said 125, so yeah, pretty sure is that. Doesn't look that big, but whatever. <coughs> and so I did that. Gave the bike a nice cleaning, wiped her down. Gave her some lubrication and I uh, added the rest of the strobe lights on. So now I have all four strobes on it. So what I did, I'll show you guys once we get out to where we normally go. I actually added them to my splash guard. See at first I had them zip tied on, they just looked really crappy. Then at one spot I tried to use a self tapper and it didn't work out too well. Thankfully I just did it on one spot. Then I realized, I'm like, why don't I just drill out the holes a bit bigger to put the, uh, to use the uh, stock hardware. So that's what I did. I got one bolt holding it down and I have a zip tie holding the wire in place and it w it's perfect. So I don't need to add anything else to it. Now they're calling for 30 to 40% chance of rain today. Even with my uh, tinted lens on, we're definitely going to be getting something. I have to check the forecast before when I stop. Excuse me. I'm actually quite happy. I don't hear that knock anymore every time I go over a bump. It was nice and sunny out, now it turns into this. Weh. So, like I said, I, did, I got rid of that fender, I put my strobes on, gave the uh, little girl a nice cleaning. I actually had to use uh, a bit of WD-40 on the plastic just to, you know, to get, get rid of that fade look. And it actually worked pretty good. I hope it's not going to fucking rain. So, in these kind of conditions, what do we do, everyone? We leave our lights on. It's where people can see us. I was speaking of lights. I uh, when I put this fender on uh, the, the the dirt bike dirt bike fender on the front, I uh, completely forgot I had a underglow light there, and I kind of smushed it right up inside. So I won't have to play with that tonight. <laughs> That's the only thing. Because tonight I plan on coming back out here, weather permitting, and uh, testing the strobe lights. I'm going to remake one of my shorts because I, I don't know what the heck happened. I thought I was actually getting good footage, but I guess I didn't. But I'll remake it. It is what it is. Shit happens, right? So I got that dirt bike fender. I actually took my uh, strobe light fob. And I uh, got some of the, uh, well I had a whole bunch from another project I did. I cut it in half, 
It's the 3M uh, Velcro. It's the little plastic strips that hold like 10 pounds. I use that, put it on my uh, brake uh, reservoir, and I put it on the back of the fob, tethered it with some paracord to it, and stuck it there. And it's like literally right here. I can just turn it on, and I can play with my uh, settings or whatnot, but I already have it on the setting I want, so all I gotta do is turn it on and turn it off. Like I said in the last video, I uh, wanted to do that mod for a while, but since I couldn't hook it up directly to the bike, I needed to find something with a module I could do. Oh, what the hell's going on here? Oh, somebody was racing out here. That's great. Well, if it took them that much time to do that, either A, it was just kids farting around. I'm pretty sure it was just kids. Probably young kids. Yeah, this road's not really that busy, so especially on the weekend. Yeah, here's the start line. Yeah, just kids out playing with their bikes, probably. So we're just gonna go out here. <coughs> Leave my vines to crack up a bit if I get some uh, air flowing in this sucker. Yeah, listen to this. No knocking. Like, I even said, like, I don't know if I just said this in the last video or not. Like, do I just buy another fender at 75 bucks or 100 bucks a pop and for it to happen again? Or just say, screw oh, what the hell's going on out here? Well, I'm not saying out here. As far as I'm concerned, people aren't supposed to be out here with their vehicles. Technically, I'm not a vehicle, I'm an e-bike. Two different things. So, we'll just go back out to the entrance. Man, let's say we're getting rain or something back night. Like, you feel it in the air. I just checked the radar and it says nothing. So, it's just like sun and cloud. I know that was a bug or a raindrop. Yeah, I'm sure we're probably going to get a bit of rain. That's why I always got the cover in the bike. Remember last year, I took my, uh, I think it was this bike actually, I took to work. And it said it was supposed to, yeah, I feel some raindrops. Yeah, that's rain. Oh shit. Oh, that's a big fucking bump. There you go, girl. Get up there. There. Yeah, that's a bit of rain. I'm not really worried about those sprinkles. Downpouring is what I'm worried about. Okay, so we're still off here and do what we need to do. Okay, so anyways, back to what I was saying, like last year, when I actually took this bike here to work, and uh, the weather app said it was sunny out. I look outside, and it's pouring a mother, it's pouring like a mother trucker outside, and I'm like, okay, <laughs> good thing I covered the bike. And anyway, it's just a little bit of rain right now, it's nothing really to worry about. Okay. Um, before you guys say anything, I had a, a towel on this to keep the sun off it before I left. And the towel was a bit damp and it did that to the stickers. So it'll dry out, I'm not worried about it. Uh, now I need to get my hands on some uh, uh, heat paint. I need to uh, paint this guy up. The paint's coming off. But yeah, I'm not surprised because this gets pretty hot. <coughs> yeah, it is what it is, right? This side here is fine. I, I don't understand. And I did find some little bit of surface rust in there. So I wiped it down a bit over the weekend with some WD-40 to try to prevent that again. WD-40 has uh, so many uses, it's not going to be funny. This is a little bit of raindrops. Nothing to worry about. So, I am going to say a uh, strobe light warning. I'm turning the strobes on right now. So as you guys have seen from the last video, this is what the front looks like. And here is my front fender. Let me just turn off the uh, lights all in general. Okay, there's the front fender. We'll come back. So there's the front light. We'll come back to the fender. There's the back. You guys already know about that one. And we have the side markers. 
So these two on each side are, in, are synced together. The one in the front and the back are synced together. So there's like different patterns. Oops, something's coming down here. So this is what we have here. Hey, buddy. So at night, you can see me easily. So at night, if I ever have to stop, especially around transports, like where I, the industrial, industrial area where I work, there's a lot of transports. So I'd rather be seen and not seen. That's, well, that's the reason why I did this to both my bikes. So I think with my four ways on, you can see me just quite nicely. Especially in the back with oncoming traffic. The front, especially at night, these things are actually pretty bright. And we move with the strobe light. So right now I'm just going to turn off the strobes. So that project's all done. Excuse me. So I'll show you guys what exactly what it meant when I had to do the drill. So all I did is just took it. I drilled the hole out where the actual old hardware was. And the bolt was so long <laughs> regardless. So I just drilled the hole out, put it in, tightened it down with the uh, Teflon washer in the back on both sides. And that's all I had to do. Then threw a zip tie down here to keep the wires in, in place. And I weaved it all through just like I did to the other ones. This right here is a bit dip was a bit tricky because I had to wire it down, go around the pedal, zip tied it to the pedal, then up and through and up around here, and that was it. So there we go. So I think I strongly suggest if you have a 12 volt outlet on your bike or you have one or you sold one yourself, get this kit. I'll leave the link in the description again. It's really affordable unless the price went up after the making of this video. Forty five dollars doesn't change. It's worth it. It's pretty much a bolt and pl uh, plug and play system. Plus, I already got plus my underglow, the underglow I already have on it. So, yeah, I have a lot of lighting on this bike. I'm happy the way it turned out. So, my strobe light mod's done. It would have been easier if I would have had like a strobe relay that was to plug in, and yeah, but whatever. It is what it is, right? So, to the front fender. So, if you're following my channel for a while, you'd know I had this on before. Um, with the other light bar I had up here. I actually had different mounting, like uh, I had the same mounts, but I had them with extensions on it. Excuse me. So what I did with this this uh, this fender with this fender this time, I did the same thing. So underneath it, there's three holes. So I put a long tie on one side and on the other. Brought it up, tightened it, snug. They brought this piece up. Took two longer zip ties. We're around the side here. Tightened them up, tightened them both up, and there it is. Yes, it has a little bit of wiggle room to it, but whatever. I don't care. I can always, I can always put something here, but I'm not going to bother. And you guys can see a little bit of the zip ties. Looks still pretty clean. So there we go. That's what I did over the weekend. The uh, 93 is my uh, best friend's uh, jersey number from PayPal. So there's a story behind that. I'll get into it another day. <laughs> So there we go. Bike is all lit up. We we'll turn everything back on. Four ways, everything. Lights. Strobe boarding again. I'll put one obviously in front of the video. So there we go. A little bit of raindrops never hurt anybody. See, so I originally wanted to put them right here, but it didn't work out. So I'm like, hell, I'll put them right there. There we go. All good, and you guys can see all the clearance I have there too. So, boom, that mod's done. Let me just turn off all this stuff here. Okay, so you see my uh, undergo light right there, kind of. I don't know. I hope you guys can. I can't believe I got I had that there. So that might light up the whole inside. I don't know. I have to play with it in the dark tonight. Uh, now, if Tao is watching this video, which I hope they are, and that's for me, I have to figure that out. These little grooves here, all these grooves, on the next generation Gemini's, do not add them, because they actually cut into the actual fender. And I have, a, I have a huge gouge on it, I don't know if, if it caused any other damage. Don't do that. If you're going to do that, cut off the back of it, like, of the, of the fender. Because the, these things here cause actual issues with the actual fender. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who had issues. So tell if you're watching this video again, these little nubs here in manufacturing, 
get rid of them because I can either plastic weld them off or leave it the way it is or just remove the fender so I removed the fender and it sucks because I have all this exposed but it is what it is I got this here to protect from the rain so yeah so if you have a Gemini keep an eye out for that because the suspension on this bike on these bikes are soft <coughs> What time do you got here? So, right, guys, I'm gonna leave the video off there. Strobe light mods all done. I'll see you guys in the next video. And remember, life is short. Take that adventure. Welcome back, everyone. Right now, I'm using my phone. So, here we go. Here's the finished product. Come on, focus. There we go. Right. Okay, see me, you shouldn't be on the road. <laughs>